Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Wednesday, May 22nd. I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the photo down analysis. So on the US dollar CAD, I still think this is likely to go down and make a wave C. I still think this is either an A or a 1, this is either a B or a 2, but I still think it needs to go down to make a wave C or a wave 3, especially looking at the US dollar index. So heading down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I'm still looking at this move down as a trend. I still think this is more likely like a wave one. I still think this move up right here is more likely a complete correction for a wave two, and I still think this is likely to start making its way down for a big wave three, probably a wave three of wave C. So taking it down even more to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I still think this right here is a trend. I actually think we're making either an irregular ABC or maybe an expanding flat because it looks like impulsive up, three waves down. I think it's going to make impulsive up, probably take out this high, make a wave two. Then I think it's going to make a lower high compared to this, lower high, lower high, and go down for a wave three. So heading down to the four hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, if you zoom out a little bit, you can kind of see what it is that I'm looking at because I think this is extremely clearly a trend. Most likely it's a wave 1. I think this is a wave A right here. I think this is definitely, definitely 3 waves down, wave B. I think that we're likely in a wave C right now, and if it really is an expanding flat, then it potentially will go all the way up to the 161.8. So potentially this thing has a lot of upside potential. You know, go back up, maybe make a double top or a little bit of a lower high, and then end up continuing back down. So keeping that in mind, let's take it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, we had a perfect entry to go long today, earlier this morning, very early in the eight, late A's in early London session, one, two, three waves down, impulsive up. That is exactly, exactly what I would be looking for for entries to go long on these sort of time frames. I definitely, definitely wouldn't be trying to go long now, but if in the future, if it makes another ABC, another nice little one, two, three pullback, especially if you throw a Fibonacci retracement on there, I bet this right here was a perfect Fibonacci not see retracement of this last push up so when it does decide to make another pullback that's exactly where i will be looking to get in for the continuation of this uptrend which i think is likely a wave c of wave two based on the higher time frames so don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to all the daily live analysis and training sessions, where I cover all the pairs on this list over here from top to bottom every single day. Also, don't forget to check it out because I do share all my swing slash day trades with my members at the time of entry. So you get all this by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.